What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How are you? I just want to talk to you. This is a late night broadcast. I'm going to be talking about a few things that are in our culture. Where are we at? Well, a lot of people have asked me about the insanity of this past weekend. I was at a con, and I, as soon as I heard, I was like, what? And um, before I get into it, I just want to let you know, we just hit 77,000 subscribers. It's a grind, my man. It a grind. Um, so we got to keep going. I have my Rumble channel, and I have 84 subscribers. Rumble will do more and add more. I put a lot of the episodes over there as well. But this is where you can find me. All my links are in my on my website, jamiekennedy.com, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Threads, Reddit, Rumble, Patreon. I have like nine or ten. I'm trying to get like an even ten. And what I'll do is put the content out there and different versions and different things. So the Patreon will be the first version of it and probably the most honest. The YouTube will be a little lighter version of it. The Rumble will probably be closer to Patreon. And uh, what I can't say here, I say there. I'm absolutely, what am I? What do I feel about this weekend? Well, at first I had a lot of opinions and then I reasoned with myself uh, before going out and spewing them to the world. And I think that that's a good thing and a bad thing because sometimes when you do that, it lessens your passion. But when you do that, you may come with a more reasonable take. And, um... <sighs> What can I say? Uh, it's crazy. It's all crazy. It's crazy is that I believe, like a lot of people that I trust, believe that the Democratic side and the people that like the other side have run out of options and they're literally trying to take out. After this weekend, I believe, I don't believe this was faked. I don't think it was staged. I believe is so many things, but I believe that he is a fighter and I believe he's a winner. And I believe that um, the guy was shot at insanity and it grazed his ear. So I don't know. I'm assuming it's the bullet. Some people are saying that it was glass from something else, but I'm just going to go with the bullet. You can correct me in the comments because I don't think anyone should lessen this insanity. This was an attempted assassination of the front runner of the presidency of the United States of America for a man who's running for his second term, three terms in a row. Where the first time he did it, he was an outside-the-box candidate and won. And the next time, he was the clear favorite and lost. So there was a lot of weirdness there. And now he is by far the clearest choice. <sighs> I just feel like I'm actually... When, when he lifted his hands up in that blood and that picture and the crowd was like, oh, oh ha! I got chilled. I cried. I, like, cried. It Literally, the guy beat death. Okay? You know, and I was like, this is not, this is just incredible. This is like, this man is sent by the higher powers, or he's protected by the higher powers. You know, if that was staged, that's a lot to pull off. But again, I am a conspiracy theorist in your eyes, so maybe. But here's what I want to say. I haven't really started this yet, but... Th this is... After this weekend, we're all going to have to make a choice. We, we are going to have to make a choice, and I'm not like this. I've never been like this. I would just 
you know, I, I never knew anything about politics growing up. I never really got involved with them. First time I voted was 38 years old. Um, I never thought the vote mattered. You know this. I think everything's corrupt. But I am starting to believe that really is an outsider. I don't. I know it's one bird, two wings, but I don't really believe that anymore. I don't. I know that JFK also, I think he was an outsider, and I know his father has a lot. Of, you know, he got his kid into the thing, but he wasn't a regular politician. He came from a hardworking family. Um, Joe Kennedy did from nothing. So, you know, JFK, I believe, was taken out. And I think that is an outsider. I really believe that because he was part of the establishment. And so did they hire him for the role of his life? Is this the role of his life? For what? To stay relevant? Sure. To cement his, his legacy is cemented forever. Like, Or did he, was he a guy that ran on a whim, started getting a taste of it, got momentum, has a huge ego and really does believe in business and in and, and leadership and and he is a military kid and got connect and got hooked on it. I believe this is a lot like me. I mean, I I share similar traits to him. I should say, um, I believe that he won't accept no for an answer. And if you try to stop him, he will not. He will say Fuck you. So that that's that's. What I see, and, and I see now this guy, I like, again, I'm not political, but I am now, because we have to be, because the insanity of all around us, someone has, we cannot stay silent anymore. I, I used to be like, date who you want, love who you want, be who you want, and I'm still like that, but what's going on now goes so much deeper than that. People on this side, I just see people that are extremists. It's just wild. And I'm trying to gather my thoughts. Here's, here's what I think. Is this party, this Democratic Party, again, you're making me talk, so I will. I don't want to talk about this shit, man. I feel compelled to. Because the number one thing I hate and anyone with a half a brain should hate is hypocrisy. And so what I see is so much hypocrisy that I'm, I, it just ruins me. And I'm disgusted. So I have to like speak. Like I don't, I can't stop myself. I'm like, bleh, it comes out of me. And then people malign me. So then I'm like, what? What do you don't? know me and then I go and then they attack and then it just gets worse I was like which I guess means I'm a fighter I'm hurt deep down I'm hurt but I won't shed tears for imbeciles I just feel like the the number one thing I want to say about this weekend is just I'm I'm just so how do I how do I address people without attacking them you know, that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to do that for my next couple of, of, of rants. And then if, if I still can't get anywhere, then I'm going to have to be ugly too. I don't want to be ugly, but I don't know what to do at this point. People have lost, have lost their sense of humanity. Like, first of all, the whole thing is, the, the picture is insane. Like, it's one of the greatest top five pictures in the history of the planet. Like, Iwo Jima, you know, the 9-11, you know, like, the, the dancing World War II. I mean, it's just insanity. It's just one of the greatest pictures. I get chills. I got chills. It's the great, one of the top five greatest pictures of all time. Of all time. Maybe I'm a prisoner of a moment, but it's, it's, it, it will forever It'll be everywhere. It should be on buildings. I guess the biggest problem I have was like, first of all, this kid who did this, it's just, it's weird. There's all, I watched two videos with Navy SEALs and snipers. They're supposed to cordon off anything from 100 yards to, and then anyone after, this is what they were saying. I don't know this, is local authorities. The kid was at 175. 
a good country boy hunter, they say, can get anything from 400 yards. Um, it looks like they had a shot on him. The kid looks like... If you if you believe in MK Ultra, it looks like this kid was an MK Ultra. Like he doesn't look like he's all there, just from his picture, right? He looks like he may have a job. Could get a job at Panera, and all the things he had to do to get up there to climb up. There didn't. There was no ladder. Then he shimmies and gets in the prone position and fires off seven rounds before they take him out. 25 minutes before they were yelling, people saw him there. No one said anything. There's a lot of weirdness. And that's a whole other thing, which I'm not a professional, but it just screams. And to me, I think it's, this is what's making me believe it was a complete outsider is because I believe, and he's got this halo over him. They go after him with everything, everything. If I were him, he should literally just be underground right now. I agree with that. Like, he he can't. I mean, he ha- I don't know. But that's why he is who he is. He's not scared. I mean, they're, they're, just, they're just, these people are, this, whatever the deep state is, it exists, in my opinion. The powers that be want to keep the powers that be, and this guy is a massive threat. I believe that. Um, I believe it. And we're going to have to choose very soon. And I just don't see myself choosing the way a lot of Hollywood believes.